Hi everyone, this is David Cochran. Today let's tackle Twitter Bootstrap's navbar. I'd just like to point out that uh, their online documentation is uh, updating rapidly. Um, you're going to notice now that on their homepage they're showing what version you'll be downloading when you download their files. And um, it just so happens that with version 2.0.2 they fixed a couple of things that uh, I was running into while preparing this tut. So it pays to uh, check back and watch their documentation and, and check their updates. One of the things you can do to follow what's being changed is that they're now making it easier to um, follow their roadmap and change log. So this little link here, if you follow that, we'll take you here and click on the change log. And they're going to let you know what's newest with their latest version. And as I was reading through that, I noticed some things that impacted our navbar. So those are folded into today's tutorial. I've got um, some notes and other things that will help you if you're still working with a prior version, 2.0 or 2.01. Um, but let's go ahead and go to Twitter's documentation and cut to the components page. So if you'll click on their main nav to components, then we're going to use their sub navigation and go down to the navbar. Here you'll see lots of really nice documentation. They've got an example here of actually a nav bar that's inside a container, and so it's constrained width with the width of the site, and examples of their drop-downs and a search bar and a drop-down that's floated to the right. Their documentation is really good, so be sure and read through that. And we're going to play today with some of the things that they've set us up with. 